everybody, welcome back to the Build It channel. If you're a fan of building cars and building things, then please do hit the like and the subscribe buttons. Today, we're gonna be something a little bit different uh, because Ollie and I have been doing some metal work on the R32 Skyline. And for it, what we're gonna need is something to be able to bend metal. But before, as you've seen me, I've been doing it on the vise, but that isn't gonna cut it for what we need to do in this one. So what we're gonna be making is a sheet metal brake. If you don't know what that is, then you probably don't need one but it is um, a device where you can put a sheet of metal in and bend it to the angle that you want for it. It's great for making up box sections from flat steel or any other material that you want to put in the bends. So, like, like any good video, it starts off with a delivery and we've got this delivery here from the metal store, um, which is, the great thing about their stuff is that they will cut it to shape for free for any bits that you want. So I measured out what I needed and got it all cut to shape. Also got some stainless hinges here as well. Okay, so let's open this up. And here we have it. So the way the metal store do it is they do them in either one meter, three meter or six meter lengths. Um, so as you see what I've done here is I've gone for three meters of the box section, which is 100 mil by I want to say 40, but I'll double check that in a second, maybe 100 by 50, um, and had them cut it. So we've got two half meters, which is going to be our feet, and two meter lengths, which is going to be our uprights. So with the L section, uh, we've gone for is three meters just chopped into three one meter lengths on there, and that's going to be our bending area. So first thing to do is get our uprights mounted onto our feet. So this might give you an idea of how we're going to mount the feet. I've just marked up the 100 mil top by 50 mil wide in the center of this piece. And then what this will do is actually slide all the way through so it sits roughly, well actually slightly further forwards uh, on this. So we've got a nice support for the brake. So I've got these two ones, which is four cuts, so one each side to do. So I'm gonna crack on with that now. So now we've got our grooves cut out at the bottom. You can see how this is gonna sit with the leg underneath them fitting in. And then what we can do is zip a weld all the way around both edges on there. And that's gonna hold that nice and tightly. The reason I've got for more footing at the back of the bender as we stand is because this is gonna be the front side and all of your bending motion will be one direction. It's all gonna be pushing upwards. So that's gonna be putting the weight more on the back here. Uh, what I'm gonna do next, I'm actually gonna pop a hole in here and a smaller hole in the bottom for us to be able to drill down through and secure this into the floor so it's nice and sturdy in place as well. So when picking your metal, just make sure you've got something with a nice edge. It doesn't have to be an exact 90, but as close as you can get as possible. What you don't want is something like this rolled edge as you've got here on the edge of the uh, box steel. So now I've sat this top bar on here. Uh, these legs will actually be further apart, but I've just sat on there to show you what it's gonna look like. You can give more of an idea of what's gonna happen now. So our metal is gonna come in from this side, there'll be a brace that comes down and holds it in place, and our bender is gonna be on here, and for that we need the hinges. So with our top piece mounted up on here, which well just sat there for the minute, but what we need to do is make sure our hinge is gonna work properly with it. So we actually need the center part of this bit of the hinge to be right where this sharp line is, because that's where our cut's gonna be. So as you can see there, if we just put it here, we're gonna have a massive great gap on the bend. So, so what I've done on this side is I've actually cut out a notch in the metal work here. As you can see from underneath. And that then has our hinge sat on it, and that allows it to bend all the way from sort of from there where it's going to sit naturally because the other L will be sitting in here, all the way up to well, past 90 degrees, so we can get a sharper bend if we need to. So, all these up here welding up the uh, bottom brackets for the bender, bender, 
Bender? Bender! Bender! Um, once we've got those sacks in place, we'll then put the top on and see how that looks. But remember kids, don't look directly at the welding, otherwise you'll die. While he's doing that, I'm going to cut out these sections here on each side of this plate. Because that's going to be the bit that fits around our hinge. It will all make sense in a minute. So now we've got our base welded together and our top welded on. Uh, next thing to do is to put some captives under here. So that when we want to just undo and undo the top plate, we can just drill it on and off. Uh, with that, so I've put the bolt through and tighten the nut up to where we want it and then we'll just tack around on each side same with the other side and that will give us some captives in there obviously keeping the bolt through means then we're going to retain our thread and shape and everything when we do this so now we've got captives burnt in and we've also got the edges cut out for the hinges as you can see here uh, I've just popped in some M10 bolts to hold this down so as we lift this up, what we can do is we can put our metal through here and clamp it down and either bend this upwards or we can put it that way, put it through and bend it downwards to give us a 90 that way. So let's chuck a bit of metal in and give it a try. my makeshift handle and because we can lift this top bar right the way off if we need to we can then get that out and there's our bent bit of metal our first bends from the sheet metal bender so the last thing we need to do with this is to make a handle for it as well so what I'm going to do I'm going to grab some bits of bar and then just attach one to each end on here so we've got a nice even push when we go up and that should then give us our then they're all completely done so I've chopped up these three bar sections and we're going to use two of them for the handles they're going to go under here I'm actually going to bolt those in place because uh, if we ever want to move this about and chuck it in the back of a van or something then it's going to be easier just to be able to unbolt them and not have them poking out um, and we're going to use the other one as a brace that just will sit in the centre here and stop those from swinging about independently so just keeps a bit of uh, rigidity in the middle there so I'm going to crack on and put some slits in the end of this so it can slide over slide over our hinge piece and uh, bolt through and there we have it with 3 metres of box section 3 metres of angle iron and what, a metre and a half of tube we have got our bender all done. So you can see that I've notched the tube to go around the hinge and uh, the bolts go right the way through, so we're utilizing the same one there. And that way, if we ever need to undo this, we can just undo those two nuts, look at the bottom, slide this off, chuck them on top and transport it away. So if you're in the need to bend some angles and you don't want to spend thousands of pounds on a uh, really expensive bender, this is a great way of doing it for, I think it cost me about 75 pounds in total hinges, metal, everything. So here is your homemade DIY bender for day's work and 70 pounds worth of metal. Nice. Thank you very much for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next one where we'll crack it on with some more car stuff. So that's some bits on the 180 and uh, we've also got some new body kit coming from the Skyline as well as I keep mentioning. So that one should be coming up very soon. Catch you later. Ciao. Raising the Tobagos, we growing like fresh tomatoes. Them boys on fire, two fuego. We pass it round, hot potato. Everything is new wavo. I'm with my sweetie like Quavo. Need my cheese, need that queso.